How would he show that? Any wings of the gun business. How would he show people what he had? Look, look at his basket. He didn't know much English. English was he knew. His, his ware sold itself. Father come from Europe to America. But he didn't want to serve the Kaiser. What? And how did he get out of uh, Russia? Skip, skip the country and uh, came to America. Everybody in those days was fleeing away from Russia because they had conscription. Everybody had to serve. And did they bring a Torah with them? Are the yes. Jewish scroll? We brought a Torah and we have the Torah now in the shoes. It's the first Torah one of them had and it's in the shoe now. Did they have any trouble getting it out of the country when they came to the border? Well, yeah, smuggle it in. And when they arrived in America? You know, he, he kept it at home and we used to have shul meeting every Saturday in different homes before we had a shul. And they moved my father's Torah from one house to another for the services they had. It was the only Torah there was right in this vicinity. When your mother and father arrived in Ellis Island from the boat, did they have anybody to meet them to a vouch for them to be admitted to the United States? No, they had nobody, but my, they were all, already planned to send them back to Europe, to where they come from. But uh, my father saw uh, a man with a big beard, looked like a Jew, and he, he, he says, he said in Hebrew and Jewish tongue, Kup uh, chicken to kick some, some case in Europe. We will in the game. You get some some offers and zokt as uh, my uh, cousin. He has get coming on his line number. If I get like my number, if I get my man's number, my man's number Julius. And my number, my 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 number is Rachel, Rachel Judy, and so I me he 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 zokt us. Well, at that time it was so really difficult to come into America that he, he was glad to do anything to help. Him a foreigner to come in. It was so he made and told that story and then that's how my father was able to get into this country. It, it was your mother that uh, spoke to this man and yeah, my mother the translation yeah. is she said please help us get into this country so the Kaiser won't uh, persecute us in yeah. Europe by telling the officials that we're your yeah. cousin. The Kaiser was very unpopular in this country too. Press it a minute Robin, I'll tell you something. And how did they happen to come to Waterville, Maine? Had your father's Son they came to son. Boston first, and father had no business except to pedal, and it was hard for him to walk up and down the big buildings where the people lived, and so he came and moved to Waterville and, and pedaled the basket in Waterville for a while, and then he was successful enough to buy a horse and team, and he went into the junk business. Did he have a son, William Levine, in Waterville ahead of him? Well, yeah, William Levine came here. Uh, my uh, father was married twice. His first wife died. He married my mother in Europe. And uh, father, what did you say? Sarah was his sister, not and William. Was, oh, yes. And your father's daughter, Sarah, lived with her husband in Waterville, Maine, and that's yeah, why they came yeah, here yeah, from Boston? They, they wrote to her. Wrote to us. I don't remember when I was born, and I had a sister Eva, born ahead of me, and we moved to Waterville. When you practiced law in Waterville, 1922, you started. I, I practiced law until I retired. When you began, had there ever been any Jewish lawyers in Waterville before? No, I was the first Jewish lawyer. And how, how did the other lawyers receive you? Well, very, very well. But and I used to help other lawyers. I used to go to court for other lawyers. I used to like trial work. 